I'm gonna go here. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. Shotgun ice is good against him. You're gonna do it. Yep. So like, I will probably die once. I'm saying I'm gonna die once because I only have one life. Oh fuck. So it would be nice to get my lives back. Sure. I'm gonna actually die once real fast. Man. Oh, okay. So, actually, I wonder. What are you doing? I'm, I'm wondering if beating a flame man with me. Nope, never mind. No. Did nothing. Because these, these, uh, these sparks actually do get turned off. They fuck off, but you, it, uh, if you if you beat the right boss, but I don't know which one that is. Probably. Yeah. So I'm actually trying to get killed because I want to reset my lives because as you can see, I've got zero down there in the bottom right. Yeah. Uh, start. I'm I'm glad that I got that sub tank though. That was yeah. Fucking sparks. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Boom. Let's go. Do it. Okay. Alrighty then, Spark fucking Mandrill. Spark Mandrill. Reed has peeped the strat and he's about to hand this guy his eighth asshole. Hopefully. Yep. And uh, I'll try to stop giving false information uh, about yeah. X-Men. Uh, sorry, about X-Men. About X-Men 3. Yeah. X-Men 3. Sorry, about Mega Man X2. Mega Man X-Men. Yeah. Mega Man X1. Mega Man so, Professor, Professor X Light. So... The stuff I was saying earlier about the things I liked about Mega Man X are yeah. still true. It's just they started Mega Man X2. Oh, so, you see? Mega Man X1 is still... Ooh. It's entirely possible that uh, Reed forgot that his favorite Mega Man X is 2. I, I wouldn't say I have a favorite Mega Man X. I, I enjoy uh, both 1 and 2. I just don't remember. Have you ever played 3, though? I have never played 3. No, you probably should. I, it's pretty rough, but you should yeah. play it. And the reason I say that is because... Dude. I do they were, like I have said before. I did not have these games in my childhood, so my memory on them isn't the greatest because I've only played them a few times each. So they kind of it kind of gets blurred together. Oh. Um, oh shit. So to summarize, so to summarize, as I was saying about Cyclops, yeah. Uh, let me. Oh, jeez. Um. Yeah, so he had every he had a background full of reasons to become a supervillain. He had powers to become a supervillain. If he took his fucking visor off, he could probably level a city in a matter of fucking less than a half an hour. You know, he can kill lots of people because uh, it's just pure concussive force coming out of his eyes. Uh, but you know, Xavier got to him at the right time when he was a young teenager, and he is almost the opposite. He he doesn't have a psychosis where he wants to fucking be a supervillain and make everybody hurt like he's hurt, etc., like Magneto or whoever. He actually has almost he has a Batman type thing going on. He has the exact opposite psychosis where he almost has a a compulsion, like a psychological compulsion to be a hero. Like he has to fucking the times in his life, except for when he, you know, spoilers, uh, temporarily lost Gene, his love of his life, uh, he was, you know, useless when he wasn't being an X-Man. Like, that, he was the one X-Man where, like, that had to be his life, right? And so, yeah, I don't know. I, I like him because there's a lot of complexity to his character. A lot of people don't like him because, oh, he's the, he's the stickler for the rules and he's the straight-laced, you know grumpy guy, and it's like, well, no, there's a lot of reasons. There's a reason he's a grumpy guy. It's not just because he's a grump, or he's a hard ass, you know, stiff, got a stick in his ass. It's like, no, there's a lot of reasons in his background for how he is, how he, you know, why he's the way he is. And I like him. He's good. Yeah, I don't have any problem with him. He's also the best one in the X-Men arcade game. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I wasn't... is complete garbage in the X-Men arcade game. Well, he's cheap. You can be cheap with him, but... Uh, I actually didn't like the move set that they gave Gambit in the X-Men vs. Street Fighter game. I, I, mean, I, I mean, I guess, what are you gonna do? But I felt like he should have played... He's one of those characters that plays kind of funky. He doesn't have, like, a fluent move set. I thought for sure 
just give them a bunch of like staff attacks and hits and a couple card moves and you're good. But they just made him play kind of weird. Yeah. Also a Capcom game. X-Men. This is X-Men versus Street Fighter. He used to be pretty good at that too. One of these days I'll probably, uh, if I have it already, <laughs> one of these days I'll have to fucking play that. Or try to. And watch me die a bunch. It'll be fun, because I'm really good at games. Maybe that's what I should have called my YouTube channel. I'm really good at games. Oh. Fucking Turtle Saurus. Prehistoric Turtle Saurus. So I was, I was running, I was being quiet there, because I was running on one health and I was trying my best so to not die. So close to what? Dying? But um. Shh. <laughs> yeah, I was almost at the boss. Oh. Yeah, but you had one health, bro. What were you yeah, gonna do? I was gonna die him? on the boss. Oh, and then not geez. have to waste and then have full health just to Man. go against him. Fuck. Watch out for those those uh those turrets are your your kryptonite. <laughs> uh, the turrets aren't really that big of a deal. I was just trying to be methodical, which kind of put me open to some damage because I was so low I didn't want to take hits. I'll say. So yeah, I can just run past all stuff. I was also hoping that they would drop health, you know. Time of the Prehistoric Turtles are us. Have you played... Nope. Yeah, I can't. Any of the old, uh, like, Ninja Turtle beat-em-up games? Um, no. Mm, pretty good. I've heard, I've heard a lot of good things. Do Except for the, uh, the one... Which one? Where you have to get to the Thunderdome or whatever. And it's like, it's in... Uh, like the original? Yeah, like the original. The original NES one isn't really a beat em up, it's more of just an action oh, okay. side scroller. And yeah, it's fucking rough. It plays hard. It's not a bad game, but it's fucking hard. <clears throat> now, but all the other. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like Turtles 2, the arcade game, 3, 4, and Hyperstone Heights on Genesis uh, are all good, like, arcade beat em up style games. Some of the best. Alright. So Almost at the boss. All right, let's see it. Let's see my strategy born to life. All right, so now I'm going to use the actual weakness on the boss that it's good against. There you go. You're gonna push his proverbial shit in. Yep. Hopefully. Fuck you, Spark Mandrel. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at him. Just look at him. What a baby. What a fucking baby. That's some weakness. Yep. Oh, Christ, watch out. Apparently, Rita has a weakness to giant fucking plasma balls. But, fuck his mother, though. Yeah, you know, I, I wanted to make it close. He wanted to give it a sense of drama. Yeah, as, as you can see, so... I hit him, and he just freezes, so if I do it right, I can just keep him locked forever. And yeah. It works. Yeah. So, that's what I should have done the first time through. Yeah! I know there's a lot of people probably getting real mad about that. Shit. So. But you know what, Reed? You don't give a fuck about that. No, I don't. And yeah. I got through it, so it all yeah. works. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You got a plasma bolt. Yep. And I know who I'm going to next. Who's, who's that, Reed? Well. Oh, you're going to keep me in suspense? Keep you in suspense. Shit. For two seconds. Oop, oop. Who is it? Oop, it's... It's... Oh, it's the Aardvark. Already the Aardvark. Armadillo. Armored, <laughs> armored Armadillo Vark. Yep, the Armored Armadillo. What an asshole. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. He turns into a ball and spins at you. This is. I mean, that's move. what Armadillos do. Now, if I remember correctly, this level yeah? is a thing. Is this a piece of shit, though? All those fucking birds. See? Even in the Super Nest, it's still respawn enemies. Yeah, respawning enemies are... A Capcom institution. Yeah. For better and for worse. Ah, uh, you know, old Konami games had it pretty bad, too. Like, oh, crap, that's right. Fucking Castlevania games and, like, respawning Medusa heads, that's a real thing. Why? I need to get behind him. Oh, well, how? 
How? Okay, but how do you get behind him, though? I, I think I know how to get behind All him. Alright. The reason I'm trying to get behind him uh -huh. is there is a heart container oh, that you can get, secret. but you can't be in front of him, if I remember correctly. Man. I might be remembering incorrectly again, but we'll see. Damn. You know, old brain is a serious issue, folks. Uh, fair warning. Reed's yes. not even 35 yet. <laughs> Reed's not even 25 yet, and he's already got it. He's got. Well, when this comes out, I'll be 25. I'll give this true. It's true. He's already 25. He's got. Uh, he's got mid 20s brain. Yeah, stay up there. That's what you should have done. As a strategy. E thing. He's got an E tank behind him, which is why. I, I killed myself on purpose. Oh, of course. oh yeah. Gotta get that E tank. If you don't get the E tank, then why even bother living, you know? Basically. That's what I've always said. Look at these fucking mitts. So, uh, speaking of anime. Yeah. What are some of your preferred anime to read? Uh, my favorite anime. Hmm. Yeah. Right now, which is 2017, is an indeterminate time in the future. Um, I really enjoyed uh, Erased when it was out. That was a really good one. There was... You can only find that on Crackle, right? Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll Crunchy gets like that thing with the CR, yeah. I mean, that that was when I first watched it. Who knows now? Oh, yeah. It might be, it might be anywhere. Um, I really enjoyed that one. It was a... Uh... It was a, a joy. It I, I was one of its. It's got an interesting, uh, like, uh, mystery kind of feel to it. It's, uh. Ooh, cool, cool, that guy. You got him. You did it. Um, there's the thing. And there's there's a heart container. There's so that's why you kill that. Boom. Um, it's it's got a lot of interesting story to it. It's uh, got really good animation. And it's got some, it's got some humor. It's very touching. It, it can make you cry at points. It, overall, I just, I enjoy it. Um, other anime I, I like. Uh, I just recently finished a uh, anime that's been out for a while mm. called The World God Only Knows. Oh. The first two seasons, it's a little bit more kind of, you know, like just small arcs, kind of the guy, the main character doing his thing. And then the last season, it just fucking goes like, oh, just so you know, everything that was happening now all uh, actually matters and the world might get destroyed. Oh, shit. Speaking of getting destroyed. Fuck. Yeah, I'm getting destroyed right now. Yeah, I got destroyed. All you right. did, you did. You gotta I gotta do better than that. You gotta do better. Come on, Reed. Now, speaking of uh, mystery-based animes, I'll tell you one that I watched several episodes of and quit on because I just, just, fuck it, I did not like it, was yes. uh, Death Note. Okay. I'm not a fan of Death Note. I, now, I, I watched it. I liked a lot of the first, like, arc. Sure. Here's, and, then, and then it kind of goes off the rails. Here's where it lost me and where I suddenly realized, not only is this just a series of fucked up things happening now, but also I just don't care. Spoilers. Uh, 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 mute this wow. if you don't want spoilers. That was terrible. That was pretty I'm terrible. Doing bad. I'm it was doing pretty bad. terrible. I'll you just... talk, you focus. Alright. Uh, the reason that it lost me is because at some point the show just becomes a fucking chess match between this asshole kid who has the death note and this fucking hacker guy who's like trying to help catch the killer the mysterious killer that no one knows who he is and it just becomes this fucking thing where oh who's more of a young genius prodigy and who will outsmart the other and i personally just couldn't give a shit less that's why the show lost me and the, the bad guy uh, he does some fucked up shit. And he I, does. I, I'm not. I'm not a fan. I just it lost me. Up. It lost me. Also, I beat him. So. You did. You, you took. You took him and you threw him down to the ground. Yes, I do need to focus occasionally you gotta because fo you gotta be focused. I can be bad sometimes. You believe you can fly. I you believe, believe I can you fly. can touch the sky. Yes.
But, uh, the next guy, you're probably just going to train wreck, right? I mean, I would hope so, because that was so bad, I need to redeem myself. Yeah, I'll say so. Well, fortunately for me, I only have to deal with eight legs of his, so... Oh, spoilers. Oh, his, his name is Launch Octopus. Do you have the blade thing? What blade thing? I, got, I just got the, the rolling shield. Is that what it is? Yeah. I thought you had a blade thing that kind of cut his thing. Nope. Oh, okay. See, I'm no Mega Man I mean, ex expert. This this might be considered a blade in some, oh, some circles. In some circles. Get it? Yeah. Circles. Yeah. Because of the shield. The circle shield. Yeah. It's called the rolling shield. I don't get think it? it's a... It's not really a shield. Oh. Well, um, it's like a force shield. Yeah, it, no, it just kind of goes in front of you. Uh, you just shoot well, it. Well, it shields you from the front. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I, I suppose. You're on some kind of crazy ass beach right now. You're in, you're in fucking Cancun. You're in the Bahamas. You're just hanging out. Mega Man X needs a break. Now, I don't know. X is a beast fine. These games are fine. But I'm more partial to the original Blue Bomber, the yeah. original Mega Man. Original Rock Man. And know. of course, Corey and I have gotten into some stuff. Not real stuff, but just little stuff. Uh, jokingly arguing about, you know, oh, well, Mega Man X has self determination. I'm like, how do you know that the original Mega Man did? And oh, Mega Man X has fucking more uh, more powerful armor and weapons. I'm Ooh. like, yeah, well, they and could have upgraded the they could have upgraded the original Mega Man to have more powerful armor and weapons. He just didn't need them. You know? Yeah. I think the original Mega Man. I, what I'm saying is, I'm laying down the gauntlet. I'm, you're hearing it here first. I'm saying right now, original Mega Man, uh, given proper upgrades to even the battlefield, could beat X's ass. Because X is a fucking whiny baby. <laughs> Fair enough. The original Mega Man, he's a super fighting robot. He doesn't talk in the original, so... Oh, fucking Christ! Yeah, I was not doing well. Well, there isn't really dialogue between the robots. He might have talked. True. You just never heard it, bro. I mean, I guess he talked in uh, 7 and 8. He talked in the cartoon, which is totally canon. Oh, Jesus Christ. There was actually... Oh, fucking shit. There was actually an episode... Dude, what if you use the spark thing on it? Fucking shit, this is annoying. Yep. There was an episode of a late in the Mega Man cartoon series in the 90s, where, uh... Vile, the Boba Fett guy, actually okay. comes back to the past, and, uh, Mega Man can't fight him, because he's made of harder future metal, and so Mega Man's Mega Buster isn't equipped to beat him, but then Mega Man X, uh, also comes back to the past and helps, helps Mega Man fight him. And so that was a little crossover. And I think the series got canceled after that. I feel like maybe they were probably, if there had been like another season, they were probably going to do more. Either that or that would have been like a nice cutoff point for the series, I guess. Even though they didn't really fully beat Wily. They should have. They never really like solved that story. But that's kind of, in a way that it kind of wasn't the kind of cartoon that that Mega Man X, or that Mega Man cartoon was. It wasn't so narrative based. It was kind of more of a, 80s style Saturday morning cartoon where yeah, like boss of the week or yeah whatever. there was stories but like there wasn't this ongoing story arc right yeah oh that's right I have a boss to fight. you do he's right there you gotta shoot him in the butt I do gotta shoot him in the butt I think I can shoot him in the head as well mm. this is a different this is a different take on an old video game boss trope there's several games that have some sort of worm or centipede or whatever boss that comes up out of the dirt like that. Except this one's underwater. Yes. Yeah. And I can jump high from underwater. In Mega Man physics, water physics. Yeah. Water, Mega Man water physics. How high can you jump? So... I just press that button. Oh, it's pretty high. Yeah. They got. I, I feel like they just got them so right. It makes all their water physics just even Jeez. worse. Would you be on board with an entire Mega Man game, like Mega Man Atlantis, where the whole game takes place underwater? No. Cause no? Because then it would just be the uh, regular physics of the game. Yeah. It wouldn't be special. Yeah, but there would be no point, really, having the water physics. 
Like it would just basically it's like having Mega Man in space. You would just you would just oh, have Mega a Mega Man, Man with a high jump. You know, that wouldn't be too bad. Mega Man in space. All right, took him out. You did. Give me that health, thank you. You're welcome. The fuck right. is this supposed to be? You think this is like an underwater factory or something? I'm just gonna throw um, I'm gonna throw this out here. Maybe building the factory underwater not a great idea. You know, it, I've never seen it go wrong. Yeah. You mean right? Yes. That, oh. that was that was the one I meant. <laughs> now what do you what do you do this guy? Uh, I need to use the thing I just got the the rolling shield. Oh, rolling. That's true. You said. So, rolling, rolling, rolling. Yep. Keep that shield of rolling. Got to roll it right at him. Oh, it's an octopus. I'm gonna guy. go bowling. If he had if he had two more appendages, this would be perfect. Ah. Oh. What a fucking jerk. Now how many times do you have to hit him before the thing happens? Well the thing might happen with a different weapon, but uh, this is this is his weakness. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I feel like it's some sort of blade weapon. I feel like I saw that before or whatever. Very possible. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Stop doing this stupid pattern. Yeah, quit doing your boss pattern, boss. What the fuck? Jerk. Now he's just being a huge jerk. What a cock nose. I'm gonna die. That's you might. Thing. You might. Yeah, if you use some kind of blade weapon from one of the other bosses, he loses his tentacles. Or yeah. He's easier to fight. Oh, well. That was unfortunate. Yeah, Reed. セイルキ 2100WX